Howdy, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog. Going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 5.0.1 untethered and preserve your baseband for unlocking using Ponage Tool, which is a Mac tool. Select your device. I selected my iPhone 4. Once you have it loaded up, then it'll search for the firmware of choice here. It did find my firmware. If it doesn't find your firmware, just go ahead and browse for yours. Go ahead and select that and then click Next. And then you should see two menus here. This will create an IPSW file, blah, blah, blah. It just tells you exactly where it's gonna put the file. Just go ahead and select yes there. And then also it asks you if you have, uh, or if you activate normally through iTunes, I do, so select yes there. Then it will build your IPSW. It's basically building a custom firmware, which you will restore using iTunes. And that allows you to jailbreak your device and preserve your baseband. Go ahead and put your password in if it asks you for that. Likely it will. That allows it to save it to your desktop. It'll continue building your IPSW. This does take some time. I've obviously sped it up a bit just for time purposes, but yours will take a while as it builds your IPSW. So we're almost through here. Now it's gonna ask you to connect your device to USB. Go ahead and hook up your device and you wanna go ahead and place it into DFU mode. I'm gonna show you how to do that right here. You guys know how to do this by now. Just hold home and power for 10 seconds. Release the power, continue holding home, and then voila, your device will be in DFU mode. Now what Ponage Tool is gonna to do is put the device into Pwn DFU mode. Basically this allows you to restore using a custom firmware in iTunes. This is a necessity. So once it's successfully entered DFU mode, you can go ahead and close out a Ponage Tool. We're done, we're completely done with Ponage Tool. Go ahead and open up iTunes now, and then you wanna hold Option Restore, Option and then click Restore obviously, and then go to your desktop, select the custom firmware, make sure you choose the custom firmware. In fact, verify that it actually says custom in the title, otherwise you may lose your baseband. You may upgrade your baseband. So be careful with this step. Go ahead and click next and go ahead and restore. And then it should extract the software, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. It'll take a while to restore your iPhone. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the iPhone here and it's gonna take a while, obviously. Okay, so just continue to bear with us here as it restores. I'm gonna go ahead and just skip ahead. I'm gonna cheat a little bit, skip ahead so we can get on with the show, I'm gonna show you the iPhone screen here. It should load up the iPhone screen where you can actually set up your device, et cetera, et cetera. You can set up iCloud, all that jazz. But really our main concern is just to make sure that the device is jailbroken and that you have preserved modem firmware, which will allow you to, once you load up Ultra Snow via Cydia, will allow you to unlock your device using a software unlock, which is really cool. And folks, that is how you perform an untethered jailbreak for iOS 5.0.1 and preserve your baseband for unlocking. Now, you'll need to go to Cydia, download Ultra Snow, etc. Make sure you have, obviously, you meet the requirements for unlocking. If you need more information, check the description and let me know what you think in the comments section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.